Unlike land animals, almost all fish breathe or get their oxygen from water. Instead of using lungs, fish breathe with organs called gills. Most fish have four pairs of gills enclosed in a gill chamber on each side of the head. On the outside of the body, a flap of bone called a gill cover protects the gills of bony fish. To get oxygen, fish gulp water through the mouth and pump it over the gills. In many fish, the breathing process begins when the gill covers close and the mouth opens. The walls of the mouth then move inward. The mouth partially closes and the gill covers open. This action forces the water from the mouth into the gill chambers. The inside of each gill consists of fleshy, thread-like filaments. Water from the mouth passes over the filaments. The filaments are closely spaced along a gill arch in two rows. Each filament has many tiny extensions called lamellae. Blood flowing through the lamella takes oxygen from the water and releases carbon dioxide into the water. After the fish receives its oxygen, the water passes out through the gill openings and the breathing process begins again. Now in our second video we are going to see a fish suffocating when removed out of the water and breathing normally when returned, showing that the respiratory medium of a fish is water, not dry air. So in this video you note a Chinese carrying out fishing using a basket. Now, look very closely, as it removes the fish from water, you look at what it does. It starts to fight, meaning that it is suffocating. You look, that is fighting. It is trying to breathe in dry air, but as it opens its operculum and the mouth, it can't extract oxygen now it is going to stop fighting when it puts it down in this water you find that it is now okay and it is not restless as it has been so that is why fish breathes in water not dry air